Hello fellow Amazon shoppers. Today I'll be doing a kind of a demonstration of the controller for the DJI or the controller that comes with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. Um, this is the newer version of the controller that they came out with it has some um new aesthetics and things like that so um i'm just going to show you this one and um yeah let's let's get right into it so the first thing that you notice is on the top here you have these little wheels with these holes those are for the removable control sticks which is really nice so um how you get to those is you unfold this holder here and they redesigned it to where you can kind of see, you can store your control sticks on the controller. So you don't have to buy like a control stick protector. You can just pop them out, screw them in, and there you go. It's really, really nice, really handy, um, really solid. When you get the control sticks, they have this nice little rubberized grip on the uh, around the tip here and then on the actual tip it's a textured um, like uh, cut out um, a little a little sharp not like it'll prick you but um, it gives you nice little grip um, on the top part here you have four buttons and a five well three buttons and a 5d button um, one is the power button um, this button here is the uh, pause kind of like an all stop button when you press it um, it stops all movement of the drone. And then here you have a return to home button. On the back side, you have two buttons. These are user controllable, C1 and C2. In the DJI Go 4 app, you can actually set what these do. Um, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just specifically talking about the controller here. Um, then you have these two kind of scroll wheels here that control different things in the DJI Go 4 app. This one, um, in mine, how I have it set is it controls the gimbal um, tilt angle, and this one over here controls the exposure. I think that's the default because I didn't change it. And then on the back, full back, you have a uh, camera, two tier um, picture taking button, and then a video record button. So the two tier picture taking button is um, you do a half press and it auto focuses and then you do a full press and it snaps the picture. So really nice. On the, what is this, the right side? Yeah, the right side of the controller, you have a three-tiered switch that allows you to switch the flight mode for the drone. So you have tripod mode, which is a very um, stable and slow controlled mode. You have a positioning mode, which is a little bit um, faster um, while still having some obstacle avoidance settings. And then you have sport mode, which turns off all obstacle avoidance. And as it sounds, gives you full control of the drone, um, allowing you to go up to massive speeds. So you have your antennas up at the top. They're really nice. You know, they just fold down when not in use and have a nice little snapping deal. And then when you use them, you can pop them out put them flat if you want. Um, recommended angle of use is kind of this little tiered button. Um, on the bottom here, you have a USB port. Because I'm actually recording this with my iPhone, I won't be able to use, uh, I won't be able to put my iPhone in here, but it comes with, um, you can see over here, it comes with three of these little cables that allow you to plug your phone in. So you get a uh, lightning cable, you get a um, USB-C cable, and you get a micro USB cable. So you can plug in any kind of phone there. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn on the drone so you can see the screen here. And I'm actually gonna use this bottom part because when I actually fly, I, can, I use my iPad. And so this bottom USB port allows you to connect up a um, either an iPad or a DJI Crystal Sky in order for you to um, still get control. So you press it once. When you press it once, it actually shows you the battery percentage. 
And so when you press it and hold after you, you know, on the second press, it actually turns it on. So we're going to do that. All right. And so now you see what it says there. It says connecting. So I'm going to turn my drone on over here. And as soon as it connects, you will be able to see. So when it connects, you'll feel a little vibration in the controller. It actually does have vibration. So you feel that. And then what it says on the screen, as you can see, it shows you various information. A lot of this, actually all of this, you can see in the DJI Go 4 app. So if you're using like how I use an iPad, it actually covers up this screen. And so honestly, nothing on here I really need to see. The only thing that's not in the DJI Go 4 app is the RPMs. Um, everything else though is there. Um, and so you can actually see over here when I do the scroll wheel for the exposure, right there, you see how the exposure is actually adjusting. Um, you can't see the angle of the gimbal on here, but trust me, it is moving. Um, across the top, this right here, this is the drone battery. This is the signal strength. Like I said, this is RPM. This is your miles per hour, your speed. In the center here is your information about the controller and any information um, that needs to come in. This is your controller battery. This is the flight system. So obviously right now, because I'm inside, it's not using really GPS or anything. It's just using vision. So the sensors that it has, um, it has distance. So distance is the distance away from you, the actual controller. This is the height from the ground or from the takeoff point. And then this is the clearance. So what it means by clearance, um, if I have this right, I'm not going to be 100% sure, to be honest. Um, I might have to look that up and put something in the description. But for clearance, it's either clearance in terms of above the drone, like how far much space it has above, or clearance on any of the sensors on the side. Um, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, about that. And so that's pretty much the controller in a nutshell. One thing that I really like about this also is um, it has this grill here. And at first I didn't know what it was for. Um, and then I started thinking about it. Oh, it's a heat to let heat out when you're flying. It has a fan on here. And so when you're out flying, the fan will actually turn on automatically. And actually it might be on now. I can't tell. No, it's not on now. But after a while, when it starts getting a little warm, the CPU or the processor in here, I guess, gets a little warm and that fan turns on and so it helps to keep your your controller cool the battery life of this thing is amazing um with my current drone setup i have three um of the dji batteries and you know you get about realistically you get about 20 to 25 minutes of flight time i can honestly i could probably go through four or five batteries before i would have to control this drone uh, before i have to recharge the controller so you know four or five batteries five batteries five times 25 there it is you can kind of hear it now the fan is on I don't know if you can but the fan just turned on um, and so four or five batteries four batteries that's an hour and 40 minutes of flight time so I can probably go two two and a half hours before I have to recharge this continuously and so that's pretty good. Now, if you have this set to recharge your mobile device while you're flying, obviously that's gonna go down. It, it is actually capable of charging your mobile device. Um, just be aware. Um, how you charge this is you pop off this here. I, like I said, I don't fly with this, I'm just showing you. Um, and you plug in the charger there and it charges it up. You can't charge it through the bottom. Um, and you can't use both of these ports at the same time. So you can't have like two displays hooked up or whatever. Um, overall, it is a solid build. I love the textured grips. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it has a nice weight to it. Um, I, I think you will be very pleased at the feel and the use of how this controller is laid out and how it just sits nicely in the hand.